What's up peeps? My name is Brie. I'm no queen bee. Just some honey bee of this quiz bee, honestly. And I'd like to welcome you to the very first challenge of pick an answer. Since most of the people behind this channel are architects, this premiere challenge will be about architecture and design. You may want to pause this video and prepare some paper and pencil or pen to record your answers and points. The following will be a series of multiple choice questions with four choices. The first round will consist of 11 questions about architecture in general. Round two will be about the National Building Code of the Philippines, also with 11 questions. Finally, Round 3 will be a set of 11 questions about the history of architecture, worldwide. So, if you're an architect, how well do you know architecture and the field of design? If you are an aspiring one, this may be helpful for your licensure exam. If you are just someone who loves architecture, then feel free to participate as well. One last thing. Failing is better than cheating. If you don't fail, you don't learn. Please be honest peeps. Here's the first question for round one. What is represented by a building, which meets in a satisfactory manner, the requirement of logical function, solid construction and beautiful composition? Is it A. Design, B. Engineering, C. Architecture, or D. Planning? Pick an answer. The answer is C. Architecture. Question number 2. He is the inventor of geodesic dome, which was based on the principle of space frame. Who is he? Is it A. Buckminster Fuller, B. Lucio Costa, C. Felix Candler, or D. Marcel Buer. Pick an answer. The answer is A. Buckminster Fuller. Question number 3. The development of this material made the walls possible to be thin. What is this material? Is it A. Air conditioning, B. Plaster, C. Insulation, or D. Paint. Pick an answer. The answer is C. Insulation. Question number four. What is the edge contour of a plane, or the silhouette of a volume? Is it A. Mass, B. Form, C. Shape, or D. Plane? Pick an answer. The answer is C. Shape. Question number 5. It is a type of concept which literally relates with other objects or processes. What is it? Is it A. Analogy, B. Simile, C. Metaphor, or D. Essence? Pick an answer. The answer is A. Analogy. Question number 6. It is developed from the use of the building as expressed in modern materials and not from styles of the past. What is this style called? Is it A. Historical style, B. Contemporary style, C. Structural style, or D. Revivals? Pick an answer. The answer is B. Contemporary style. Question number 7. What is similar to timing, or movement, which is the basic foundation of music? Is it A. Accent, B. Scale, C. Tone, or D. Rhythm? Pick an answer. The answer is D. Rhythm. Question number 8. It is an emotional need, 
where architecture became a medium of expression of the spiritual existence of man. What is it called? Is it A. Self-expression B. Religious need C. Prestige or D. Recognition Pick an answer. The answer is B. Religious need Question number 9. What is sometimes called as associated character? Is it A. Traditional character B. Personal character C. Functional character or D. Motif Pick an answer. The answer is A. Traditional character Question number 10. It is where a form can be transformed by the addition of elements to its volume. What do you call this transformation? Is it A. Transfiguration B. Subtractive transformation C. Dimensional transformation or D. Additive transformation Pick an answer. The answer is D. Additive transformation. Final question of the round. It is the beginning of the building and the foundation upon which the scheme of the structure rests. What is it? Is it A. Idea B. Perspective C. Plan or D. Elevation Pick an answer. The answer is C. Plan. That is the end of round one. How many correct answers do you have for the first round? Here's the first question for round two. What kind of framework of standards? and requirements does the National Building Code, or NBC, provide for all buildings and structures? Is it A. Regular B. Minimum C. Maximum or D. Definite? Pick an answer. The answer is B. Minimum. Question number two. What is the percentage of space required for interior lots under the NBC? Is it A. 50% B. 40% C. 30% or D. 20% Pick an answer. The answer is A. 50% Question number 3. According to the ANBC, what is the occupancy classification for prisons? Is it A. Institutional B. Business and mercantile C. Residential or D. Recreational Pick an answer. The answer is A. Institutional Question number 4. Under the NBC, how many beds are required for one parking slot in hospitals? Is it A. 15 B. 20 C. 25 or D. 30 Pick an answer. The answer is C. 25 Question number 5. How high, in meters, above the sidewalk shall the display windows, or wall signs must be? Is it A. 3 meters B. 2.7 meters C. 2.4 meters Or D. 3.3 meters Pick an answer. The answer is A. 3 meters Question number 6. Repair garages shall be classified under what occupancy? Is it A. Business and mercantile B. 
industrial. C. Accessory. Or D. Storage and hazardous. Pick an answer. The answer is D. Storage and hazardous. Question number 7. What is the unit area per occupant of hotels? Is it A. 18.6 square meters B. 20 square meters C. 16.8 square meters or D. 15.5 square meters Pick an answer. The answer is A. 18.6 square meters. Question number 8. Within what period will a building permit expire if authorized work is abandoned? Is it A. 90 days, B. 150 days, C. 120 days, or D. 180 days? Pick an answer. The answer is C. 120 days. Question number 9. What term in the NBC, which means the total number of persons that may occupy a building? Is it A. Usage B. Occupant load C. Capacity Or D. Occupancy Pick an answer. The answer is B. Occupant load. Question number 10. What is the unit area per occupant for apartments? Is it A. 5.8 square meters B. 36 square meters C. 46.5 square meters Or D. 28 square meters Pick an answer. The answer is D. 28 square meters. Final question of the round. What is the minimum width for a pass which connects all any courts to a street or yard? Is it A. 2 meters. B. 1.8 meters. C. 1.5 meters. Or D. 1.2 meters. Pick an answer. The answer is A. 2 meters. That is the end of round 2. So far, we have 22 questions in total. How many did you answer correctly? Here's the first question for round 3. What is a monumental gateway to an Egyptian temple? Is it A. Butter B. Egyptian gorge C. Ark Or D. Pylon Pick an answer. The answer is D. Pylon Question number 2 it is a principal room of an Anatolian house. What is it called? Is it A. Megaron B. Villa C. Portigo Or D. Domus Pick an answer. The answer is A. Megaron Question number 3. What door is below a rose or wheel window? of Romanesque church. Is it A. West door B. East door C. Holy door Or D. Rose door Pick an answer. The answer is A. West door. Question number 4. Who is the architect of the White House in Washington DC? Is it a. R. M. Hunt B. H. H. Richardson C. 
C. James Hoban. Or D. Frank Lloyd Wright. Pick an answer. The answer is C. James Hoban. Question number 5. It is the principal chamber in a Greek temple containing the statue of a deity. What is it? Is it A. Pronos B. Nos C. Divine Chamber Or D. Antilexi Pick an answer. The answer is B. Nos Question number 6. In ancient Egypt, it is a massive funerary structure of stone, or brick, with a square base, and four sloping triangular sides, meeting at the apex. What is it? Is it A. Mastaba B. Ziggurat C. Rock Hewn Tomb Or D. Royal Pyramid Pick an answer. The answer is D. Royal Pyramid Question number 7. It consists of the upright column, or support, including the capital, base, and the horizontal interblature, or part supported. What is it? Is it A. Stylobate B. Post C. Order Or D. Lowly Column Pick an answer. The answer is C. Order. Question number 8. Who is the designer of the Crystal Palace in London? Is it A. Sir John Cubitt B. Sir Richard Turner C. Sir Joseph Paxton Or D. Sir Charles Fox Pick an answer. The answer is C. Sir Joseph Paxton Question number 9. It is a method of forming stonework, with roughened surfaces, and recessed joints, principally employed in, Renaissance buildings. What is it called? Is it A. Rustication B. Cantoria C. Astula Or D. Cyclopean Pick an answer. The answer is A. Rustication. Question number 10. In France, what is the name of a period in Gothic architecture, characterized by circular windows, with wheeled tracery? Is it A. Lancets B. Rayonnant C. Flamboyant or D. Transitional period. Pick an answer. The answer is B. Rayonant. Final question of the round. In the Philippines, who is the second Filipino registered architect after the well known Thomas Mapua? Is it A. Carlos Barreto? B. Antonio Toledo? C. Who won Altivros? Or D. Who won Villegas? Pick an answer. The answer is A. Carlos Barreto. That is the end of the final round. That is it, sweet peeps. Let me know your final score and experience in the comments section below. You may also send your suggestions there for the next pick and answer challenge. Please do like this video if you find it interesting or fun, and share it to the world. Also, subscribe to this channel for future updates if you haven't already. This has been your honeybee, Bree, saying I don't sting, just sing, sometimes. Thank you all, and I'll be back on the next challenge. Take care sweet peeps.